Well, things have been busy. Haven't put anything out for a while. They're still busy, but thought I'd get something out quick to the new beekeepers again. Um, as you can see, my winter chores didn't quite all get done. All of these boxes should look like those purple ones over there. And I've got a pallet and a half of them outside too. So, uh, just is what it is. I had another project come up I've had to work on and things are busy. So, I wanted to talk about Varroa to the new beekeepers. Uh, you have to come up with a plan for your Varroa. You're going to have them. So, it doesn't really matter what your plan is and your plan is going to change over time. You're going to learn. But you have to come up with one. You have to sit down, do some research, figure out, am I going to use harsh chemicals? Um, am I going to use oxalic acid? Which form of oxalic acid am I going to use? Am I going to dribble it? Am I going to vaporize it? Uh, am I going to use drone comb and pull drone comb out and uh, search for Varroa? You need to figure out how you're going to test for Varroa. Because even if you're doing treatments, you need to test. There were quite a few people that I've heard of recently that used commercial Varroa treatments last fall and had zero effect uh, on depleting the, the mite count. So if you get a bad batch of chemical or you don't use it right or you use it the wrong time or whatever happens, you need to know whether it worked or not. And you need to know whether you have enough Varroa to, be, to, to need to treat. So uh, this is something that's another cost of beekeeping. In, in time and uh, money. So if you're preparing for it some and planning it, you don't wait till the last minute. It caught me last year. Thought things were good and all of a sudden I found problems. Well, now I had to come up with a Varroa plan. And I ended up using some plans I didn't care for, but they were the quickest I could get to. So plan it, learn about them. You don't need to learn everything about Varroa right now, just enough to get a plan together. Uh, and you will need to inspect them this spring and as they're growing your your numbers of varroa don't show high in the test but your numbers of bees are growing so your numbers of varroa are also so if you can control it those times you get less trouble when the growth of the bees slows down into the summer and gets ready to really drop into the fall uh, you've already got control of that varroa so this is just something you need to, to look at. If you don't, it's gonna be the first uh, major failure and effect to your new beekeeping career. So you know, take, just take a little time, look at it. If you've got questions, send them to me. You can send questions to almost anybody else whose videos you watch about Varroa. Um, you know, do, do, some, do some research and figure it out. So hopefully we're as Varroa free as we can be, but I know the ones I'm going to California to get are going to need treated. There are commercial bees down there that have been working and they're going to be susceptible. Uh, we'll work at breeding stronger bees that, that are better at their own control of Varroa, but it's going to take time and your spring bees are mostly commercial bee splits. So anyway, uh, thanks for all your support you guys, I appreciate it and uh, we'll try to get you another one pretty quick.